Welcome, my friends, my fam, my fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon, and we are back. It is no cash clash in all of its Town Hall 13 glory paused for all of those clash anniversary challenges that we've had over the past 10 days but we are back and we are going to be binge watching no cash clash i hope you guys are ready for a couple of back-to-back -back episodes as we get caught up with the free-to-play account run by the biggest gemmer in the game that's right we are loving it and i hope you guys are loving the series if you haven't had a chance please do subscribe to the channel and know that in today's episode we will max out the barbarian king and we will also be definitely supported by those that use code Galadon. Thank you guys again that use code Galadon before you pop into the shop and spend anything on any Supercell game. It helps out a lot. It keeps the series like this one going. And I just wanted to say, you guys don't even know. Okay, I'm serious. In this day and age, you know, the channel's past its prime. I'm going to admit it. That's fine. I'm still having a blast. And as long as we can afford to, I will continue to bring you virtually daily Clash videos and Clash live streams and no cash clash will continue. Of course, this account doesn't, you know, need money, but gemming to max does, and you better believe that's coming before you know it, okay? So yeah, stay tuned. You could love one extreme or the other, or maybe even both. In any case, check out gems on the free to play account. That's right, we picked up a ton of free gems thanks to becoming a War League legend Amongst other things, oh yes, the old clan capital got us a few gems as well. So a big bump over 800 gems today. And like I said, we are indeed going to fully max out the Barbarian King. Now, in the meantime, when we don't have time to farm, sometimes we just go ahead and grab a quick cheap upgrade because we've been busy. I'll admit, it's been crazy. Suddenly running 22 Clash of Clans accounts at once has become a challenge. What do you know? There's actually not enough hours in the day, so sometimes we don't get to farm, but that doesn't mean we're not farming at all. In fact, since it's been a few weeks since you guys have witnessed a beautiful Invincigob raid, let's pop one up right now and show you that the big bases are still out there. And if you are a strong Town Hall 13, at least half maxed farming troops, I think that you're going to do fine in Champion 2 and Champion 3, finding multi-millions bases if you're patient. So we roll in and again, fast forward, just gonna get down to the good stuff because I wanna show you the beautiful Invincigob as we drop in 84 gazillion goblins, hit the warden ability right as they run past. And that means nothing is gonna stop them in the core as they annihilate that town hall and surrounding storages as well. And uh, yeah, we end up with another flawless three star of the loot raid where we pick up one star for gold, one star for elixir, and one star for dark elixir. All right, so there it is, okay. Now, of course, we're having fun, and I'll also admit that although we're finding a lot of huge bases, not every outcome is perfect. Sometimes maybe the invisibility spell just doesn't quite work out like the way we had hoped, and we walk away in disappointment. Actually, at this point, I'm kind of just in disbelief, staring at this town hall, wondering, where my life has gone wrong. But no, seriously, rather than send the heroes in, let's save them for another raid, walk away with about 2.5 million in resources. And oh, speaking of disappointments, <laughs> that's that's my favorite segue today. Uh, yes, I am on the builder base right now, just showing you that we are continuing to do something over here. Uh, it's obviously not a priority. We spend about 10 minutes a month on it. Okay, fine, 10 minutes a week. Uh, don't want to exaggerate or anything, but there you can see we got some upgrades done in the builder base. Uh, back at home, you can see again, I told you that we didn't necessarily need to max out all of those bombs and traps on the right-hand side in order to go to Town Hall 14, but we're doing them on these days where I haven't had time to farm up a big chunk of gold where we could otherwise do a defense. So that's why, again, we got busy. A lot of this footage was during the whole clash anniversary thing. So we just didn't have the time to farm. Here you can see, obviously, we did have time to farm. And I got a few raids in somewhere and got a couple of defenses done. Trying not to slack, you know, again, trying to keep up. And that is, of course, also meaning that we're doing our capital raids on the weekends. In fact, we definitely put in work Get it? You see the see the clan name? Uh, over the last couple of weeks, and No Cash Clash, yours truly, has been the top gold getter in the clan. Uh, in fact, I think 
that this was actually put into a video or maybe it was a different one. But anyway, okay, 21,000 capital gold. So definitely get out there. Get some of yourself. It's not that hard just to use sneaky archers, right? Or watch one of my videos that talks about it. Okay, another boring upgrade. But again, not by choice. Just because we're forced to. Because I can't bear the thought of leaving a builder free. And then, yes, we are attacking in CWL, in Clan War, I think, right there. That would probably was a fully maxed out Town Hall 14. Sorry, I don't have time to show it to you. But yeah, just, just trust me on that one. And then this probably a fully maxed out 13, I think. Again, we're switching out every now and then since we have the heroes. Go ahead, train up a Queen Charge hybrid army and get out there to CWL or to Clan War and get the job done. That's right, clean up where others have failed. And uh, okay, this was another raid weekend here. Wait, was this the same one? Didn't I already show this? But anyway, I don't know. That last clip was during, and this is after, I guess. But yeah, I just wanted to brag about that a little bit longer. Okay, so yes, we're using some of our raid medals to buy Dark Elixir because this is the moment you've not been waiting for, and that is where we grab three levels on the Barbarian King at once. So we're going to take him from 72 to 75 right here. We're maxed out on Dark Elixir, so let's go ahead and do 73. Here comes 296,000 Dark Elixir, and of course, yes, to save eight days of upgrading the Book of Heroes. So that's going to get him to level 73, and you know that the hammer is good from 74 to 75, but how the heck are we going to get to 74? Well, guess what? If you purchase and then wait a week, you have avoided the cooldown, so you can technically have two of any of these hammers we've got two hammers of heroes right there back to back jacks and that means the barbarian king just saved what was that like almost a month at upgrading time seriously that was about at least 24 days and so the barbarian king now 75 can join the archer queen and only the royal champion needs levels to be fully maxed out for town hall 13 you can see town hall 14 around the corner i think it, it's close it's the light at the end of the tunnel. As long as it's not an oncoming train, we will be good. Okay. And yes, okay, fine. We had a leftover builder because we kind of rushed and did the whole Barbarian King thing. So another giant bomb gets to get upgraded for the day. We come back just a few hours later. An air bomb has finished its upgrade. And the good news is we have finished all of the Clash Reversary challenges and the respective videos. So we're back to farming hardcore full time on the live streams so this will be the last of the boring upgrades for now make sure you join me on facebook gaming if you want to check out a live stream the link is at the end of the video and in the description let's move on to the status report for no cash clash episode number 246 yeah. make sure you check out the playlist if you feel like you've missed some of the episodes okay gems like i said whoa boom baby plus 868 looking good also, Boom is the Barbarian ah. King to 75, Royal Champion, just a few levels to go. We have now only 137 walls to go and down to defenses of 23. Ooh. Let's go, Galifam. Thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. You know I love thinking about it and appreciate every single one of you every single day. So get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year. Be kind to the people on Amazon and the planet. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. We are back. Galadon, Galadon, did you say you're back? I didn't even notice you were gone.